Hello there, and um, today I was going to just go over quickly uh, adding sound to the game. Um, not only just having sound within the game, but having overall like a master volume control um, where we can make it quiet, mute it, or have it have it louder. That way you can uh, just have overall control of the game, whether the and have a the sound go in the background um, that that'll allow us to to add more invert, more of a a feeling to the game. So uh, let's get started. So there, there's really two things that that I'm uh, just a few things I'm looking at. So from a global standpoint, there's just the the standard whether the, you know the sound is on or off. You can make like a checkbox if you wanted to just no sound, some sound, or you can do it just purely by the volume. Um, in this case, I'm actually doing the volume, but I do do have it coded for both uh, the, the sound check or the other. Um, the other is, um, so I've made two scripts. One is to play the sound, and one is to uh, control the, the global volume. So from a global volume standpoint, it's it's pretty simple. Um, this is pretty much taken straight out of the the help file. Uh, so we're since over here, um, the first thing we're doing is we mismatched our our volume um, and set it to a low setting. Um, we've put in our room controller. Um, on every step where we are checking the sound, the global sound volume. So this is going to execute every time, every step throughout the game. And what we're doing is looking at the, the volume uh, and see if that's been changed. And then we're going to loop through the current listener and then adjust the the volume. We're, we're using 10 is the base, so we can only have 10 increments, zero or zero through 10. Um, and then this, I just added this line to show w what the volume is during during development. So this is getting executed every time a step occurs. We're just checking the volume. The other is we're going to play a sound, so we pass in a sound ver sound and a volume uh, and this volume is not the global volume this volume is actually just going to be the the volume for the specific sound so if we when we import a sound into the, to the game if it's not if it's too loud or too soft we can we can adjust the volume here usually you might bring in the sound that's too loud for the overall um, game so you might want to mute it a little and you can control it that way then we have a loop sound for uh, making sure whether we want to keep playing it. In the case of the rain, we're always going to have like a loop going on as long as we have it raining. And then an overlap so we can play more than one sound. Uh, you can you can do it one of two ways: either play a sound that plays once, and then it can't be played again until. Uh, the, la the last one's been played, or you can overlap it and have several going on at the same time. So what I'm what I do is first check if the sound's on. If not, if uh, if it's not an overlap, then we're going to um, all right. So we're going to check to see if if it's if it's, we don't care if it's not an overlap, we're going to check to see if it's playing. And if it's uh, if it's already playing, we're going to return true. If otherwise, we're going to set a, the sound volume to the current, the global volume times our game, our actual volume that we have. So it could be um, just some smaller number within the game. The other would be. Uh, Actually, probably get rid of that. So, audio play 
Um, so this could mute, mute it a little bit more. So probably just want to keep that volume. Since we're, we have a master volume here, we don't need to adjust accordingly to the master volume. So here we're going to play our sound um, and based on the parameters that we have. And this current sound is just uh, the parameters, the priority. Um, what I do is I just loop through 100 va values for priority. And um, you can probably do different things if you want to as far as creating the priority for the sounds. Um, you could probably just leave it as one for, for everyone. And this is how, so looking at the boy and the, with him walking, uh, in this case I'm looking at a specific frame, I'm only going to play the sound in different frames of animation for his footsteps. Uh, so when the frames are changing, we're going to look at the type location he might be be walking and then either play the, the a walk or a walk path. And then this is just a generic, like I said before, we're going to have it a little bit quieter than we normally would. We're going to not loop it and then we're going to play it. And as far as like the rain generator, uh, if, if lightning comes along we would just play the thunder sound. Um, I haven't controlled either I can press the button or through alarms um, so we just play all we're all we're doing every time we don't really have to worry about all the overhead once we put it in a script we just uh, play the sound and for the the keep volume up and down for right now I just have a press up and down um, Keyboard six or keyboard nine will increase or decrease it, and then uh, the over global, and I clamp it just to make sure it doesn't go above or below. So it's, he can walk across, and it changes depending on what he's on. Um, like I said, we can control the the global, make it louder. Or significantly quieter. So yeah, that's just really the, what it is to c control of the volume. Um, you want to make sure you're controlling the actual individual sound that you're playing, and then an overall global sound volume. So until next time. Uh, good luck coding.